Hello everybody, welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. We're taking out the Kenworth W900L. This has the long body on it uh, that we've used in the past. And we've got, I believe it's a Cat uh, C18 in this thing, is what we have. They didn't have a lot of engine options other than the loping ones that we've used in the past. And I didn't want to use that today. And this is what we got going on. We're going to be a bull hauler here. And we're going from Lamar and we're taking this all the way down to Dalhart. Now, I don't have a working GPS in this thing. So we're just kind of looking here how they want us to go left and then out on 50 and then another left. Take 350 down to 160 into here. Make a left down through Raton and then get off and take 87 into Dalhart, it looks like. So not too long of a trip. It should be a lot of fun. Let's do it. You will also notice that I changed some things up with my mods, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But the skyboxes look amazing. We're just using Project Next Gen only, and I'll show you all the skyboxes at the end of the video. All right. Big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring this video. We've got the Thrustmaster TGT2 right here, um, and it's going to be my main one for a little bit until I get the T8 uh, 1.8, that is the direct drive wheel, whenever that happens. And I definitely will uh, be showcasing that when we do. This is such a long truck, man. It's crazy. Oh, I think my engine brake is like backwards on this. Uh, I could fix that. Not a big deal. We make a left turn out of here. Yeah, let me go ahead and fix that Jake brake problem. That's it, it's it's an easy fix. All right, we're all good to go now. So. I'll drive in the outside view a little bit, show you the truck. It is pretty amazing, especially with the Project Next Gen skies, man. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. Now this truck doesn't have a whole lot of customization options uh, to it at all. We completely missed that because remember when I'm driving in third person, I'm absolutely terrible. Um, but you can see some of the things that you can do. You can put some lights on it. You can put a bull bar on the front of it and stuff like that if you want. Um, it has the basics, but it has no working GPS, like I said, so we will not be having that today. Around this way we go. It's still a beautiful looking truck. To me, it sounds like the default uh, engine sounds almost, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, let's do this thing, man. Let's turn these four ways off. Got an 18 speed in this bad boy. Good to have the 18 speed back. Now, uh, with Project Next Gen, I had JBX mods running with it, and a lot of people do run it that way. However, um, I chose to just remove it, and that fixed a lot of things. But on top of that, I also added those launch options. Oh, so check all the moomoos out. That's what we just picked up at right there. Those launch options like the dash pool buffer nonsense, whatever it is. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it was all of that stuff. So uh, that's been added so we can run a traffic mod now, which is, you know, SIPS traffic mod that I'm running here that we did in the past. Um, so we'll just get a couple stutters here and there from it loading these models in. But I mean, nothing like we were seeing before. So, oh, man, we're going to have to be a little bit more of a bully. Get out of here, get it. Now I've done some uh, test runs and I didn't notice any big major issues. Uh, I didn't have any like stutters. Like there's a little small one right there. It's loading everything in, but nothing like I was having before, obviously. If you're having those issues, that is where you can, uh, you can check it out. I'll put the uh, ones I'm running in my launch options for Steam uh, in the description. Now I'm not gonna link the truck. Uh, last couple times I've been linking any mods to third-party websites. I've got people just complaining about it because they don't know how to use the internet. And they don't know how to use uh, or how to click on the right thing to download. And they click on ads and like, you're, you're going to give me a virus. So I'm not responsible for that crap. So Google it. Um, this is the Kenworth, you know, W900L long body on it. You can find it on like ATSmods.lt if that's a website that you can handle. I have no problem. I, you know, I get plenty of my mods from that. Jazzy Cat only hosts on there, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm good to go. No viruses on my PC. Okay, we're in Las Animas. City limit of third... Oh, that's the elevation right there. 3,900. 
I'm gonna roll our windows up here. We don't need to have this stuff blasting in our ears anymore. Just wanted you to hear the sound set. I don't think it's 100% default, but it does sound default. I just didn't want to do the lope engine again, you know? We did that last time we drove this truck. All right, we aren't gonna make this light. Nope, not at all. Go straight. Okay, we'll go straight. We'll go straight. I had to wait for traffic a little bit there, so I'll probably edit a little bit of this video around that. I don't know how long the run is actually gonna take because we have a lot more traffic now, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm running a uh, good old next level racing GT Elite is the cockpit that I use the, the rig. All right, let's get through this light first. Oh, missed that shift. Oh, it's doing that thing where it doesn't want to go in the right thing. Okay, cool. We'll go into fifth. That works for me. So I've got that going on there. We've got the motion platform V3. That's why you'll see my uh, legs get moved around. And I look around freely like this with track IR is what it's called. Track IR. So a lot of people say, you don't have to tell us this every single video. I mean, I wish I didn't. I, I get asked the same questions every single video. So I just try to knock it all out at once, you know? Man, look at how beautiful Project Next Gen looks just by itself. I don't think I'm going to be going back to JBX, man. I don't, I don't, not anytime soon. This looks incredible with just that. And the skyboxes, wait till you see those later whenever we go into photo mode at the end of the video because there's so many good ones there, man. All right, let's drive this, the heck out of this thing. We need to get these bulls where they need to go, man. We're going into town here. I remember this part of the uh, trip that we saw on the map. A cop? No. You watch, there will be a cop in here. Not that it matters. We probably won't worry about cops today, and we're probably not going to worry about way stations on this trip. And then turn left. Oh, we're turning left up here. Okay. Just because. You know? Probably going to end up turning this thing into an outlaw trucker video. <laughs> we're already using the Jake inside city limits. Heaven forbid that, you know? I'm just using the default SES trailer, and the reason for that is because I didn't install Bart's trailer that I own and his shop seems to be down. It's not working. So hopefully they get that fixed. Make our left turn here. There's still plenty of room. Oh yeah. Just a cool looking rig, man. No matter how you slice it, the W900L uh, long version is just badass. All right, we're turning right here at the stop sign, it looks like. We'll just kind of California roll this stop sign a little bit. Cross traffic does not stop. Okay, good to know. And they're having us go down some back roads, aren't they? They sure are. They don't care. I do have the lights on for safety right now, but you can see what the lights look like when they're off. You just get the white on the dashboard there. So that's how I have to set it up right now. Trinidad, 59 miles. But yeah, I notice all those major skips and stutters, man. They're all gone. I like how uh, Project Next Gen does the, the lighting too. It kind of like really gives you that washed out kind of look like you would see in real life if you're out here in the middle of nowhere, you know, on a hot summer afternoon. With that sign set, I couldn't read it. Some windmills out here kicking around. Look at that. So I will be, um, in Daytona this weekend, Daytona, Florida for the Rolex 24 race. 
go down there to watch it with Ryan and Bugs. Should be a blast. I'm not going to be filming anything there. No uh, vlog. I just want to go and enjoy it, you know. If you uh, wanted to see what that's all about, I did make a vlog of it a long time ago. So if you search here on YouTube, Rolex24 and my channel name, Jay Fabiano, I'm sure it'll pop up. Man, I've been having a lot of fun uh, doing some OCRP videos here on the main channel by just uh, editing down those VODs. And the reason for that was because Twitch, for some reason lately, these last couple nights, it's been dropping my streams. And when that happens, it cuts the VODs up. So I can't just export it like I normally do over to the Fabian Live channel. I have to download it, edit it, and bring it, or, or just bring it out uh, that way, like encode it, re-encode it out. So if I'm re-encoding it, I might as well just edit it and make it into an episode for the channel. And I mean, the quality is just a little off compared to what we're normally used to, but it, it's not enough to take away from what's there. Because I can tell you, most of the organic, amazing RP moments I've had in OCRP happen on streams because in a recording environment, you're just kind of like, all right, how long do I want to sit here and record everything that happens on the TV? Oh my, or the, the PC. And uh, sometimes it's just, you know, a little, a little slow going. So when you have a stream going, it's good. But what I've done is I've kind of self-policed myself when I'm doing uh, a live RP scene. I just, you know, I tell, and, ch and our chat knows that I won't be communicating and talking a whole lot during that with them. That way it just works out. But if you guys really enjoy those, let me know in the comments below. I can continue to do that to, to edit those VODs into something like that because I know it's hard to digest a two hour to three hour video sometimes when I put it up on the Fabian Live channel. All right, Trinidad, 35 through here. We're gonna do 10 over pretty much. So keep right. That's the highway right there. We're getting on this highway, I think. Although it's kind of weird that they have us going this way because I'm pretty sure we could have gone straight instead of making that left. And that would have taken us down to the 25 and we would have hopped on that down to Raton. So I don't know why they're having us do this other than it's a technically shorter distance. Yeah, we're going straight. Don't worry about it. I think we're going to get on this highway. We should. Keep right, go straight. So pretty much stay where we're at is what they're saying. I'm pretty sure. But you notice, smooth man, that was the ticket out of uh, the problems we were having. I knew it was something, uh, something big that was wrong the last couple times. I was just kind of like, oh man, maybe, because I was reading on forums and people were like, yeah, Texas is really bad and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay, maybe that's the case. But no, it was just me. And dumb. We run a lot of mods, so um, pinpointing the exact one that's causing the problem took the longest out of like figuring all that out. Now you can open the console up and it'll show you what errors are there. That helps out too. But I just took out JBX and I was like, you know what? I'm going to test each graphics mod by themselves, see which one has better performance. And so far, this is the winning ticket Project Next Gen. Dude. Yep, 25. That's what we want. Is this tanker getting on the highway here? I hope. Nope. He's going where we're going, of course. I mean, look at the traffic. We couldn't run this mod before, dude. It would have just brought this thing down to its knees. Yeah, see, we get those skips right there, but that's I'm used to that. struggling getting on the highway here all right cattle hang on back there it's gonna get bumpy we aren't messing around dude i need to get over I'm gonna rev the crap out of the engine why not and now 
now we're on the interstate. Yeah, a little bit of stuttering there. We want to bet they're going to have us come in, but guess what? We're not doing it. I don't care. We're on the YouTube profile. Actually, I think that's a bunch of beeps. Can't remember which one that is anyway, so don't care. Bye. Welcome to New Mexico, everybody. Let them listen to our Jake break as we go whizzing by. <laughs> we should get the sound of the bank here in a second. Upset with us. There it is. Yeah, I mean, look at these skyboxes. The clouds look so good. What is he doing? I was going to get around this guy, but it's like rain behind us. Yeah, this sounds like default engine sounds to me. Oh, we have an exit right here. Oops. Okay. Don't mind me. I thought we were going to get a little, a little bit further down. That's a rainbow back there. Oh, that's awesome. Get ready to turn left. You know, I wish um, John Ruta on his Highway Killer, I, I wish he would make a long version of it, you know? I like these big, massive sleepers on them. They look cool. Yeah, that's definitely a rainbow back there. We're going to have to look at that. Let's do that. Beautiful rainbow back there. Look at that. That is so cool, man. So, so, so cool. All right. I had to get a screenshot of that. That was cool. I've never seen that before with this project next gen because JBX was taken over with its own uh, skyboxes. All right, traffic. What we got going? Oh, that's a nice old truck there. That's a nice one. I don't know what truck that is. I keep seeing that in the models. I wonder if SES added that recently because I've never seen it before. I'm I'm doing this. Y'all can wait. Sorry. Just one of those things. All right, which way are we going now? That's the question. Yeah, that rainbow's cool looking. So believable looking. Don't do it, please. Don't do it, Chevron. Thank you. Follow me to a cleaner engine. Oh, we got plenty of fuel, man. This That's one thing about this truck. It holds a lot. It really does. All right, not very far. Get where we're going here. Des Moines 29, 79 to Clayton. Raton Creek. All right. We're done revving it out. Let's get in the left lane, get around this guy. Boy, those, yeah, the skies look nasty behind us, don't they? It's like storms are brewing. to say a big thanks to atsaccessories.com that's uh, where I got the Patriot XL from and also the adapter I use to put my SCI wheel on here I got this SCI wheel at four state truck stop from Joplin Missouri uh, the website I didn't go there and get it but it's a real 18 inch wooden SCI wheel so having a real big rig wheel on here is pretty awesome I see that rainbow the whole time. Fifty-five through here. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm only slowing down so I don't run into the guy in front of me. 
That's the only reason. Oh, big, yeah, a couple stutters here and there for these cities. But in, so in testing, I did not run the traffic mod and it, I had no, no skips, no stutters at all. And with the traffic mod, we're getting them again, so. Oh, yeah, big one there. So that's to be expected. I'm not blown away by it by any means. Oh, this looks so beautiful. I keep over revving this engine because the sound set is just so like muddled, you know? Hard to listen to. Oh wait, what am I doing? We're in this gear. We're in the final year. I'm like, I'm gonna get in the right lane and get around this guy. All in now, aren't we? Yeah, this guy's going slow. Get around this guy. Oh, it's going to be reduced speed ahead here. Whenever they're gonna have us turn, so I'm gonna just hang out here for now. Although I could look at the map, that would be a, a good idea. So it looks like we go down this for another 47 miles. Looks like to me. Okay. So that's okay by me. straight well the windows down here got a cowboy and a mechanic over there having a conversation you know having the longer traffic light mod in helps with traffic and it helps with uh you know, making the lights, but you do have to sit at them in a realistic manner. <laughs> yeah, I'll be more mindful about my shifting here. I promise. We'll act like we care about this engine. Holiday Inn. They got Wi-Fi and a pool. Does not look like a Holiday Inn to me. Not one I'd stay at, at least. Elhart, 32 miles. We're almost there. And we know we have to get in the right lane for that, so... We might as well start moseying over there. Before this Porsche comes over here and takes it over. There we go. <laughs> Can't wait till SCS fixes these engine sounds, man. Welcome to Texas, everybody. And there's the bandit right there. Having a good old time. Yeah, look at the sun going down, man. Clouds look so puffy and nice. It's really nice. Yep, turn right. All right, let's roll the windows back up. We've had enough of the engine sound for today. 
No train coming. Skip there. All right, stop sign. Where are we going here? Let's listen. Not sure. Go straight. straight. Okay. We're in a California roll again. Oh, hello. Big skip. That's a Texas State Trooper right there. You can always tell with the white hood on it. Making a left. Okay. You gonna let me out? They're all letting me out. Oh, just kidding. They are letting me out. Wow. Oh, thank you guys. Appreciate that. You didn't have to. But I really appreciate that you did. It's Moomoos. We gotta be getting close. I think we're going to this farm up here on the left. I think it's one of those trailer mods that is really causing that skip. As you saw when that truck came by. Oh, look at that. Thank you, little Ford. Appreciate you. Okay, we made it here. Yeah, it's really like not liking something. I think it was loading one of these trailers in. Okay, where are they want it? That's the question. Let's have a look. Back here on the right. All right, sweet. Look at how beautiful that thing is, man. Not too shabby at all. You can see like a contrail up there. That sunset starting to happen. It's good. All right, where are these moomoos going back here? Yep, pretty much. Gotta see where this is, man. I'm getting rocked around in the chair right now. It's a rough road. Yes, we have. We're, oh, we're going right there. Cool. This ought to be easy enough. Pull up here to the right and then back it on in. I say that and then you got to remember we have this big long cab on this thing. Self room to get the trailer around too, but the trailer shouldn't be too bad here. We just need to make sure we get this thing. And a good angle. All right, put it in reverse. Something kind of like that. Probably have to do a get out and look here. In a second. It's looking pretty good right here. We just keep on following it back, and uh, right here on the left is where we're going. Right there. So not a problem at all. Let's watch the nose here. And we'll get it straightened out. Yeah, I think we turned it a little too hard there. So let's pull up to the right. What's nice about this little opening right here. Now we can almost see what we're doing. Oh, good thing we have this little spot. When you have a long cab like this, that's super, super helpful. Back this way. Here we go. I can get the 
the trailer pointed to the right a little bit more. I knew that pole was there. I've dropped at this place before. It's not our first time. Not the first, won't be the last. All right, now we'll have a good spot. Just crank this thing all the way over. Yeah, I kind of screwed it up a little bit here, but that's all right. Yeah, if we can continue there, we're going to hit those barrels. So we'll just go ahead and straighten it out. This is why we get out and look at things. Be able to get this trailer to the right a little bit more. I just, I think I just had it way too far over. Or I didn't crank it early enough. You know what I mean? That's what it was. So like this. All right there to that second tire. That's going to be perfect. back like that straighten it out into the spots this seems okay pull up to the right it should be straight yep that's what I wanted right there this uh this cab does bring a challenge to it that's for certain it's still have to bring the trailer to the right or to the left more that's it's green but I'm not happy with it you know, we're not happy with it. We gotta pull this this way. Then to the right. That, pull it out, and then straighten it up. Right there is perfect. Is that what I wanted? Yeah, look at that skybox, man. Looking so good. As the sun goes down. There we go. Perfect. We'll call it right there, fill the engine, and we will unload these cattle. We got an excellent 294 miles, nine hours, 51 minutes, 74.8 gallons of fuel consumed. How about it? So let's go into photo mode so I can show you these different sky boxes because it's pretty amazing when you see it in action here. So go up here like this. This will be a good spot right here. And now we can change the date the daytime and weather and all that. And look at this. So this is good old project next gen in the morning. Look at those skyscapes right there. You have all of these different skies. You got that one, that one, that one, that one. So yeah. Oh man. Three looks pretty good. Go back to three. Yeah. Look at three. Wow. I had to take a picture of it. It was so beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, look at that, man. Wow. Yeah, what a difference that is, right? And that's just based on this time. So when you see the time up here, you'll see. There's the clouds there, and then you have the different skyboxes during the day as well. A lot of those, you can see the storms kind of moving through there. Then we have this one. Rock that one back and forth a little bit here. You can see it in action. We got this one. It's got the puffy clouds to it there. And a, uh, one, it has just a clear, like no, no, like hardly any clouds in the skies you see right there. Two has all these puffy clouds. And in the evening time, it looks really good right there. Oh, it clears up at the end of it. That's cool. Uh, three is the one that has the heavy clouds. Look at that right there. Yup. That looks pretty darn good, right? Like that. Number four, you have that looking. I think four looks really good right there in sunset. And then uh, you got five. Oh, okay. Yes, I like that. And then six looks really good too. And seven, not bad at all. It's got that spotty sky, alligator sky right there. Uh, okay, let's check out the rain. Looking uh, weather here. This is number one. We can change it during the day here. There we go. Let's go one. So we have two. We have three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, yeah, seven of them. I guess that's what's going to bring you the rain. Yeah, here it is right here. See? Behind the truck. It's awesome, man. It looks really, really good. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with it. All right, folks. That's going to do it for this episode of American Truck Simulator. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Enjoy the rest of your week. See you next time. Take care.